Yeah, he, he um, kind of. I, I thought he was a little erratic with his fastball mm-hmm. command, but um, again, the changeup helped me. I thought he threw some, you know, had some big pitch curveballs that he threw to help himself out. But he just, you know, he just kept pitching, kept working. I said a year ago that game probably gets away from him from yeah. with mm-hmm. where he is, but right now he's got more weapons, um, more experience, and and. Um, you know, it's pretty good. Even when he gives up a walk or two or three, he, they don't get any hits. I know. Off him. It, well, he's hard to hit at. Yeah. I know that. And but he just, he, I just kind of got the feeling today that he never stopped pitching. He never got caught up in the moment. He kind of kept the game slow, executed pitches. You know, he kind of took it a pitch at a time instead of looking ahead behind or whatever as mm-hmm. as you do sometimes with hitters. I think he was just um, doing a good job and staying focused on the next pitch. And what can you say about what the bullpen, especially Winkler, what he's done? He's been just – he did some pitches today. I was asking Chuck what they were because, I mean, it was just late, deep, breaking uh, – the, the slider was had a lot of depth. Um, and his fastball rides, and it's hard to get a hold of and because uh, he's got some deception. And, and um, he's another one that's – you know, I always like the fact of, that he knows his way around the mound. Yeah. I mean, he he's, has some really good pitch ability, and, and the stuff just keeps coming. He Ender says he doesn't care where you put him in the lineup. He just wants to win well, and hits. And, yeah, and, and I kind of, I was saying earlier today, I, I kind of like where he's at in there because it allows him to, you know, when he gets, he's getting all those hits and knock runs in and mm-hmm. um, allows him to run, albeit, you know, sometimes you'd wish you wouldn't. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I mean, it just kind of lets yeah. his, you know what, it, it's like kind of when he's, in the middle of the lineup, it lets his you know it lets you u- utilize all of his tools, and okay. he's got a whole lot of them. I mean, he's you know the steel on the bags, the big hits. I mean, you know, guys gets two hundred hits, then you, know, you put somebody on in front of them, they got a chance of yeah. knocking runs in and, and help them keep an innings alive. So I, I kind of like him right there. As you said, it's kind of an experiment. Yeah, no, it, it's good, and you know, to have such a good hitter in the middle of your lineup, and you know, he's not a matchup guy type. You know, he can hit anybody, so okay. um, and it just adds some more depth to our lineup. I you see Acuna got a couple walks. And yeah, I, I really the walks are, you know, he, he, I love it. He got a double, but I just I really like the walks. I mean, uh-huh. and as he plays this game and they plan for him, he'll adjust. And and the only way he's going to do that is to play, is to keep getting up there and hitting, and realizing that. And I see him making huge strides forward in doing that. You talk about. Yeah.